do a pick a card reading guys today we are doing how do they feel about us not speaking once again today we are doing how do they feel about us not speaking we will do an extended read on this we will take a deeper dive into the overview we will ask how are they handling their feelings for me and we will also ask will they reach out to me so keep in mind this is a general reading guys it may not resonate with everyone should it resonate with you please like share subscribe to the channel leave your comments give me that thumbs up because youtube in these streets tripping tripping man if it doesn't fit don't force it if it doesn't fit let it fly if it doesn't fit you must acquit take the bits and pieces that resonate with you leave everything else on the dance floor and moonwalk your job ass on the way from it if you like to get a personal reading with me you can find all the information for that down below if you'd like to book a life coaching session with me because I am a certified professional life coach as well as a certified spiritual coach. I just didn't put those initials on the back of my name on Instagram. I had to go to school for this. So if you'd like to book a session with me, you can find the information down below. If you're interested in about 80% of the decks that I use on this channel, just 80 because a lot of them are indie decks and I don't know the names of them. So if I don't answer you, I'm not being rude. I just don't know the name. So if you like to find that, it is linked down below under a list titled, These Are a Few of My Favorite Things. And if you are interested in donating to the channel, to my surgery, to anything like that, you can find links to list down below, as well as my P.O. Box mailing address and my Amazon wish list. So we have three choices before us. Choice number one is going to be The Graduate. Choice number one is The Graduate. Choice number two is going to be invest. And choice number three is going to be level up, level up, level up, level up, level up, leveling up. So on the count of three, we're going to take our deep breath, guys. One, two, three. Pick your card. Is it going to be the graduate? Is it going to be invest? Or is it going to be leveling up? Huh? All right, I hope you chose because we got to get started. So, universe, the people who chose the graduate, how does that person feel about them not speaking, universe? How does that person feel about them not speaking? Braveheart Tribe coming to you nosy as hell. You know us. How does their person feel about them not speaking, universe? We have the Page of Swords. Universe, how does their person feel about them not speaking? I'm on a deep end. We have the Ten of Pentacles. Universe, people who chose the graduate, how does that person feel about them not speaking? We have the two of swords. How does that person feel about them not speaking, universe? And we have the king of cups, bottom of the deck. We have the eight of wands. All right, so... How does your person feel about you all not speaking? Your person saw you and their future from the very beginning, I believe. Um, your person is not happy at all. Your person is doing like a balancing effect on the tight rope. It's like, I don't feel like your person told you about how they truly felt about you. I don't feel that your person was um, open and honest about their feelings. And I feel like their feelings right now are exploding inside of them. I feel like your person is definitely keeping an eye on you and wanting to reach out to you. Like this person wants to talk to you, but they keep playing with it. It's like they keep balancing between the two. It's like, yes, no, uh, 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 maybe, you know, like, could you just make a decision already? And it's because like your person is looking back, they're reflecting upon you all situation thinking about all of the opportunities that they had to tell you these things, thinking about all the opportunities that they had to ground this situationship that they didn't really take. And so 
I feel like to an extent, your person is really torn up inside, really torn up inside. Above that page of swords, we have the word decomposition. So I really feel like your person is um, like almost hurting themselves, like being strong to a fault, like because they're holding in all these emotions and it's like, yeah, you could just tell me and we could just move. Tell me what you want. Tell me what you need. Tell me if it ain't good enough for you, babe. Hey, tell me. Yeah, like your person could just say it. <laughs> like it would be so much easier if they just said it. But your person is really thinking about the, the situationship. You label it how you see fit and your person really wants to come towards you. But again, they keep teetering back and forth between that yes and no and standing on a maybe. And I just feel like um, your person feels very alone without you. They feel like um, the very thing that they love the most is not around. Um, they feel like they want to talk to you. They feel like they're dying inside. They're, they're definitely trying to be strong. Um, but they're not making a move. They're not making a move. They're just like looking at old pictures, thinking about texting, thinking about calling, thinking about reaching out, but not making a move on anything. And really teetering between the decision of whether or not to reach out to you. Because I really feel like this person... This person is um, like they're afraid of their emotions. They're like that King of Cups has his cup on his head, but the water isn't touching him. Like this person is like staying free of the water. The water is like spilling out around him, but it ain't splashing up on him. You know, you don't want to get that robe wet. So this, I mean, at all. So I feel like this person is afraid of their emotions and they keep their emotions at bay, you know? It's like they pull you in, but they push you away at the same time for whatever reason. And they feel like they're between in between worlds to an extent. And so I just feel like this person is keeping themselves preoccupied with a lot of different things um, so that they don't have to think about love. Mm-hmm. Quite honestly, quite honestly, like this person sees stability with you. They see wealth with you and you really influence this person. You may have motivated this person or inspired this person in some way, but it's like that person is like, this water better not touch me. I mean, it better not touch me, not today and not tomorrow and probably next week. Like this person is Having to go through some type of transition, I can tell you that because transition is written above the King of Cups card. So this person is definitely having to transition into a softer them. You know, this may be like a King of Swords or something where this person is just like over analytical and thinking too much and wanting to reach out, but they um, stay in their head and they get lost in why they shouldn't. Lost in the sauce, all the way in it. Mm hmm. So this person is transitioning and needing to graduate, needing to rise above, needing to be able to express their emotions and not um, stay in that indecisive mode like they need to to man up. They need to grow up, too. This person is just like emotionally unavailable. Yeah. So they feel lonely without you. They want to talk to you. They have a lot of love for you, but this person is really in their own way in a lot of ways. This person is just like reflecting and sad and thinking and looking at old pictures and looking at old videos and like doing a lot of things to get their mind off of you. But I just feel like at night they can't, they can't escape that. So yeah, that's how this person is feeling about y'all not speaking. They're not happy about it at all. But they know in order to speak to you, like they got to come through on a kick drum, come gum on a kick. They got to grow up. So we're going to do an extended read on this. We'll take a deeper dive into the overview. We will ask, how are they handling their feelings for you? And we will also ask, will they reach out to you? So if you'd like to join me over in the extended, the link is down below. If you want to follow me on Instagram, I have two pages. I have the Braveheart Experience and my personal page, the Red 
Pill Pusher. And then on Twitter, it's the Red, Red Pill Pusher. And on Facebook, it is a group called the Braveheart Experience. So if you want to follow me over there, all those are linked down below. If you don't want to follow me nowhere, because you know I'm lost too, you ain't got to. Stay down, y'all. It's a marathon. All right, universe. People who chose reading number two, invest. Invest. How does that person feel about them, universe? People who chose reading number two, invest. How does that person feel about them? We have the nine of pentacles. People who chose reading number two, how does that person feel about them, universe? Whoa. We have the high priestess. We have the three of swords. How does that person feel about them, universe? How do they feel? Mm -hmm. How does that person feel about the universe? We have the moon card. And at the bottom of the deck, we have balance. How does that person feel about them? Your person is broken. Your person is hurting. Your person is, your person is playing a game. Like your person makes it look good. They're saving face. Like they get dressed. They, everybody thinks they're fine. Like, Nobody knows the heartache and the pain that they're going through within. Nobody knows. Nights aren't, wait. Nights are lonely. The days are so sad. And I just keep thinking about the things that we had. And I'm missing you. And nobody knows it but me. That's them. That's them. Nobody knows it but them. This person is is like, this is a secret. The pain that they're going through is a secret, but they put on this show like they're balanced when they go out. Like everything is fine. They're confident. They're feeling fine. They ain't got a worry in the world. But like this person does have a lot of worries. This person is heartbroken about not talking to you and not speaking to you. This person is um, sad, depressed even. Um, this person is not sleeping at night. This person is tossing and turning. This person is feeling as though really that they lost the one. This person is devastated about you all not speaking. And I don't really even know why they are trying to save face. Like maybe this situation was a secret in the beginning, or like you guys just don't talk about it to a lot of people because you keep it sacred which I, I respect, I get that. Like not all secretive relationships are affairs or something that shouldn't be happening, you know? But this person is heartbroken, is sad, is lonely, is depressed, is not doing well at all. This person is just like holding all of this in and, and even holding it away from you, the fact that they're sad and lonely. So like if you're looking at this person's social media, which you should not be, don't be stalking them. Get your life together while y'all away from each other. But like, whatever the case may be, however they appear, it's not the truth. Because underneath the surface, this person is really dark. And like, it's it's like they have some type of feeling or some type of knowing that you're their one, that you matter, that you and them could be so great. But this person is, this person is is sad like this person may need therapy or something like that because this person is one that i feel self-sabotages because of all this darkness around and also because of the way that this person like fronts in front of others and it ain't no future in your front and it never was because like we learned that in the 90s so like this person goes out in front of their family and friends and just like plays this mean game like this person gets dressed to the nines. This person acts like their life is totally together and their life isn't. And so this person may have held secrets back from you or something. This person may have held back their true feelings. This person held back a lot and, and they held back the pain that they were going through with you. And so this is somebody who is truly suffering from like depression and sadness and like who has difficulty getting out of bed, but they're not asking for help. And so this person self-sabotages a lot of things in their life because of what's really happening beneath the surface with them emotionally. This person feels as though they like, 
they like they don't understand why they like why this has happened like they get it they know like especially their part in it but like they don't they don't understand why they keep doing stuff like that like why they're pushing you away and it's because this person needs help so like lift this person up in light because this person may need like therapy or this person may need like a psychologist or something like that this person needs assistance to make it through the darkness because this person is absolutely going through some type of um transition or evolution or awakening or dark night of the soul and it's very difficult for them to allow anyone in like this person has shut down from the world they only go around people when they have to but when they don't this is somebody who is like sitting in the dark all day and all night not sleeping not eating right not taking care of themselves it's just really wasting away staring at their phone waiting for you to call them straight up like just waiting hoping wishing praying that something will happen to make you like reach out to them or like you'll miraculously appear or this person is like paralyzed in fear this person is stuck this person is hurt this person is not sleeping this person is not taking care of themselves this person is not happy this person is in a state of depression and they were in a state of depression before they ever even met you this person has to deal with a lot that they are like not wanting to look at not wanting to to even begin to uncover because something about their darkness just scares them and i feel like they've been sweeping so much under the rug for so long it's terrifying to them and now it's like this person has to face that like they're in the process of integrating the light and the dark forces and i really feel like this person is going through some type of spiritual awakening and you are like a catalyst for this person to do that but when you trigger them it really spooks them because this person was doing fine or thinking that they were doing fine juggling this darkness within them but like you came along and it was like shazam and they were like what the hell what <laughs> like what just happened you know so really if you pray pray for this person if you meditate like send this person some healing energy if you do cleansing work this person really needs assistance assistance with cleansing their energetic field because this person is self-sabotaging their life by holding on to this past pain and not healing from it you know and you and them not speaking whatever happened this time they really this was like the straw that broke this the camel's back so this person is really really like if you thought they couldn't get any darker they did so i really feel bad for this person because their darkness is is like terrifying to them it's paralyzing to them mm -hmm. so that's how they feel so yeah, so we're going to do an extended on this. We'll take a deeper dive into the overview. We will ask, how are they handling their feelings for you? And we'll also ask, will they reach out to you? So if you'd like to join me in the extended, the link is down below. If you want to follow me on Instagram, I have two pages. I have the Braveheart Experience, and I also have my personal page, the Red Pill Pusher. Um, Twitter is the Red Pill Pusher, and on Instagram. Facebook, I have a group called the Braveheart Experience. So you want to follow me on any of those platforms? Cool. If not, you ain't gotta. Stay down, y'all. It's a marathon. All right. Read number three. Level up. Level up. Level up. Level up. Level up. Level up. All right. Universe. People who chose reading number three. How does their person feel about them not speaking? Came right out. Two of Swords. All right. How does that person feel about them not speaking, universe? We have the Eight of Swords. We have the Hermit. How does this person feel about them not speaking, universe? And... We have the chariot. Oh, you playing a mean game. Mean old game. Bottom of the deck, we have the magician. All right. So, <clears throat> this person doesn't want to feel nothing, doesn't want to see nothing. This person is cutting themselves off from their emotions. 
This person is also manifesting a way for you to reach out to them. This person is going into like this deep, wise train of thought. It's not like this person can be over analytical, but this person is in their quietude, realizing the pain that they cause and not understanding why they do it. <clears throat> like this person understood from the rip that you deserve the best. And they knew from the rip that they couldn't give you what you deserve. They knew they weren't going to give it to you because I'm sure this person has some type of healing that they need to do. But your person didn't make a decision to like raise the vibrations of this connection to take this to the next level. Your person didn't also didn't tell you how they truly felt about you. Your person like manipulated this situation to make you stay put. Like this person didn't want to take this to the next level, but they didn't want to lose you either. And it's because this person has some self-worth or self-values that are lacking within them. And so while they were getting themselves together, they kind of kept you in this prison and you allowed it. I feel like you were aware of it. I feel like you saw the red flags, but you just thought this person would change. This person used you as a guiding light. You are, you are the star this Herman is putting inside of their lantern to light their path. And I feel like they double dutched a little bit, you know, jumped in, jumped out of the rope um, in order to grow, develop, and unfold. This person also, like, during the day, this person is just like, cool, I'm cool, I'm good, I'm good, I'm cool. And then at night, this person be like, I should get in my car and just go over there right now, huh? I should just go right now. I should just call them right now. I should just do this right now. Like, this person <laughs> is a mess. This person is is freaking out because they're, they, they're not in control. And because they're not in control, it's like they don't know what to do and they don't know what you're going to do because like you're standing in your power now. You're out of the eight of swords, right? Things are shifting. And they are looking at things and really beating themselves up for why they manipulated situations. Um, but they continue to do so. I feel like you may be feeling this person on a telepathic level. Like you may be feeling this person in your mind. You may be feeling a pull to this person. It's because they're manipulating you to get you to reach out first. Because if you reach out first, they feel better about themselves, right? Like they, this person doesn't want to experience rejection. So if they can get you to reach out first, the control is, is still theirs, right? Um, this person is very spiritual in nature, but like doesn't really, this person is cloaked. This person doesn't really like talk about that or let on to that, but they listen to everything that you say and they're very much aware. They may even study it without you knowing. Um, but this person wants you to make the decision. So that way they feel better about things. But yeah, this person is longing to talk to you. They want to talk to you for whatever reason. They want to just pop up on you. I would not be surprised if they did. Like if this person drinks or something like that, or like if they party or something, you know how like alcohol is a true serum. So like your true self comes out and they like talk themselves out of it. But like, I wouldn't be surprised if one day they just find the courage, muster up the courage and they just like, fuck this, I'm going, I'm going. And they go. Would not be surprised. This person is just not wanting to feel, wants to have control, doesn't want to be in emotions, doesn't like, this is somebody who doesn't really talk about themselves or let you really in. Like this person will sit and listen to you all day, but they're not going to tell you too much about themselves, you know? And so they're, they're in a phase of reflection, you know, they're going into hermit mode. This person is pushing everybody away, not really fooling with a lot of people. Nobody really knows this person though. Nobody really, not even their family. Nobody knows the truth of this person or the power that this person has with this magician card here. This person definitely has some spiritual powers and is aware of it. But this person wants a victory, but it's like a lot of things in this person's life, they can't truly get off the ground and they're always pulled in two different directions. And so they just give up. Like they just won't make a decision. They just won't move because, you know, they played a victim role in things. And this person is afraid of losing you. And this person is also afraid of 
like somebody else getting you because they know that you deserve the best. And they know if they come back around, like they have to make a major improvement. They really got to step their game up big time. And this person has just been dumbing this entire situation ship down and you allowed it with a Braveheart tribe, right? We're accountable. You allowed it because I feel like you saw it, but you were hoping this person would change because you saw their potential. But this person, I'm not going to say they're not going to change, but this person has to move outside of their manipulative ways. So this person is pulling on your energy, thinking about popping up on you, thinking about like calling you out the blue or texting you out the blue. Um, but I just feel like you have to be aware of that because until this person levels up, even if they do that, it'll be initially to see if they can regain control. But I just feel like this person knows that their days are numbered with that control stuff. Control! You ain't Janet Jackson. Like, their days are numbered. So this person is, is not doing well and pushing everybody away and spending a lot of time alone, thinking, paralyzed in fear, working themselves up only to work themselves back down and pulling on your energy like a mug, like a pimp. So... Yeah, so that's how they're feeling. Wondering what you're doing and wondering if you moved on and checking on you and scared you gonna move on to somebody who can treat you better and give you more. This person has to unmask themselves. They have to uncloak themselves. They have to let their heart show, you know? Cause it's there. It's definitely there. If they, if they wanna go into the hermit phase, it's there. They have some sense of wisdom and spirituality with the hermit and the magician here. Those are powerful cards. This person is aware of their power. They just may be afraid of their power. They may be afraid of their potential. They may be afraid of what it's gonna take in order for them to do this type of evolution and step into this. Afraid of what others may say, things like that. So. Yeah, this person wants that old thing back though. I tell you that with that chariot card there. You got three major arcanas out here. So major arcanas are trumping this initial read. Trumping it. This person wants a victory. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do an extended read on this. We'll take a deeper dive into the overview. We will ask how are they handling their feelings for you? And we'll also ask will they reach out to you? If you like to follow me over to the extended, the link is down below. If you want to follow me on Twitter, the name is The Red Pill Pusher. On Instagram, I have two pages. I have The Braveheart Experience, and I also have my personal page, The Red Pill Pusher. And on Facebook, I have a group called The Braveheart Experience. So if you want to follow me on any of those platforms, they're linked down below. If you don't, you ain't gotta because you realize I'm lost too. But stay down, y'all. It's a marathon. <laughs>